1947 Hambletonian was won by Hutmann with Sepp Palin, the driver. It was the first Hambletonian to go in two minutes. But there were some other interesting aspects of that 47 Hambletonian. First of all, Delvin, uh, the grandstand collapsed? That's right, a part of it, of the bleachers collapsed. And no, I don't think anybody seriously hurt, but, but it happened during the racing. And also, uh, a different type starting gate. Yes, a fellow by the name of Smith tried to uh, out-invent Steve Phillips, and he had one that ran down on the track on, close to the rail. Mm -hmm. But the outside horse had so much advantage that Mick uh, caused jams in the turn. It just didn't prove to be a great one. Let's check out the 1947 Hambletonian. Delvin, what size of crowds would they have for the Hambletonian? Well, according to the old New York newspapers, 50,000, 50 to 60,000 people attend corn seed Hamiltonian until they started charging admission taxes. Then it got down to the right figure, between 20 and 25,000. Was anybody seriously injured in this accident? I don't believe. I know there was an ambulance went out, but I, it came there, and I think somebody would just uh, hurt a little, but very fortunately, nobody was seriously injured. Later that afternoon, Hutman with Sepp Palin became the first two-minute trotter in the Hambletonian. The starting gate, the Smith gate as you called it. You'll see how the uh, outside horses would have the advantage because they swung so fast, see, and you jam up the horses on the inside. You weren't by any chance driving in the 47 Hambletonian, were you? I don't believe, but I know it was a good race. Hutman the winner, the owner? Francis Dodge uh, Johnson, I think one of the greatest sportswomen we ever had at harness racing. Now Castle and Farm is owned by her. Sepp Palin, a winner with Hurt Mon, in two minutes flat. Winning the 1947 Hambletonian. And beating Rodney. Rodney coming up, but not quite strong enough to get the win from Hutman.